Hello and welcome back for another Penny Dreadful video. Today we're going to be playing uh, a Super Friends deck with Deploy to Gatewatch, but also really this is a, a Fires deck because I'm still currently kind of obsessed with Fires. So the idea is that with Fires you can just play two Planeswalkers a turn. That's kind of what we're going for. And then mixed with all of the Planeswalkers we have Shadow Disguise, Deafening Clarions, and some Oaths to stop our opponent's creatures. Arkham's Astrolabe with some Snowlands to fix our mana together with fires to just fix our mana regardless and Fae of Wishes to dig into the sideboard and in the sideboard we have quite some tools we have another deployed gate watch another board wipe Kefnet's lost word to just answer problematic permanents and steal them and then you don't get to untap your lands but with fires out that shouldn't matter upheaval the idea here is that you can wish for upheaval then pass the turn in the next turn if you have fires out you can float all your mana cast upheaval and then still have mana left over that turn to, to cast a big Planeswalker and then you will have an empty board with a Planeswalker on it. So that should be good. Duresses to help with like control matchups, the Elder spell to go to an ultimate rather quickly, Thought Distortion just against control and combo, Oath of Teferi, which also is in the main, just to double up on Planeswalker activations. And this can also blink your fires so you can still play spells that turn. And use your mana. Slaughter Games is another silver bullet from the sideboard. Go get Slaughter Games, stop a combo deck and it tracks hopefully. Casualties of War to just answer a big board and Weather Runestone to stop hopefully the graveyard decks. Not sure if this is going to be enough and I think this deck will struggle against like the Druid and Oops decks but it should be fairly good against mid-range and creature decks and it looks like those are um, are coming back and are, are making up a large portion of the meta. So I really have no idea, but it seems like a fun pile to try. So so let's jump into that league. Match one, our hand is garbage. Let's mulligan. Mm, this seems a little bit better. Can just put away one of the ice tunnels and then play an astrolabe and then maybe a tap land next turn. So yeah, let's keep. Scattered groves, green white. I guess I still just play the astrolabe turn one. Another land, okay. Don't need too many more of those. Woodland cemetery. Let's play this and pass. Seems like this is some sort of Abzan deck. Maybe this is a Siege Rhino deck. I haven't played against a Siege Rhino yet. Dryad Militant. I see. This is like the little kid Abzan deck. Let's play another tap land and just kill their dude. Might as well. They're missing land drops. I think this should be an okay matchup for us. I mean, they can overwhelm us, but we have six main deck board wipes. So, and they're missing more land drops. That's a shame. I think I'm just going to play this Interplanar Beacon just to gain the life. Not super relevant, but can end up mattering. Otherwise, I could have played my tap land, but I have plenty of lands that, that's not going to matter. And then I think the, the one more life is probably more relevant. Didn't do anything again. I mean, we're only drawing land, so we're also not exactly doing much. Play this fires, and then uh, we'll see. But do need to start doing something. Okay, I have a land. It's a tapped one. Fae of Wishes. That should be good here. So that's Fae of Wishes. And I guess I get just deploy the gate watch yeah that seems fine cast that oh nickel bolas and liliana yeah i imagine we're uh, getting a concession here <clears throat> kill the white land and then i'm imagining my opponent will scoop to this and they do all right so we can beat an opponent that's mana screwed that's always a good test if your deck can't do that then you're in trouble Honestly, I don't really want to change anything. I think for most of those games where your main deck is fairly well configured, the deck's mostly the, the sideboard is mostly just silver bullets, and it's more important to keep those in the sideboard than it is to have those in the main. Because with phase, you have a better chance of finding them. So let's just run it back. Only one land, so we'll, we'll have to mulligan this, even though I do like double deafening clarion. Hmm, this I will keep. It's pretty all in on this Shadow of the Sky being good. I know it will be good, but I'm sh not sure if we are we're able to deploy it on time. And they might also have some discard. But yeah, let's keep put away this land. So we have double white and we have double double blue. And they have a double faced card as our land. Ooh, Deafening Clarion, nice. So we're not just losing to an aggro rush. Woodland Cemetery. Oh, they have Duress. It looked like they were thinking of playing something, then decided not to. Play our other tap land so we're, we're set up pretty well we have removal for their early creatures and we have drawn from dreams to or to go look for more planeswalkers maybe a fires no what dry it militant sure not just gonna board wipe that away I, hmm. no i still think i'd rather wait i was gonna say with so many board wipes i might wait but this is still just one guy that's i can do better the dry is getting in 
Oh, and nothing? Really? Oh, I think I'm just gonna play Drawn for Dreams then. Or Drawn from, from Dreams. See if we can find something. Oath of the Fairy, Dovin, Sarkin. I think I want Dovin and Sarkin. Just a couple of planeswalkers. Sarkin making a dragon is not bad. And Dovin can, can force them to commit more things to the board. Okay, they found a fourth land, but they still have no white source. They're just getting in with the militant, sure. Now what I want to do, I could play Sarkin and make a dragon. The downside to that is if they have a removal spell for the dragon, then I, I lose my Sarkin. So I think I'm just going to play Dovin. Minus on their guy. This makes it harder for them to play any non-creature spells. And then we can set up next turn where we can play Sarkin and minus Dovin. So then they, or they need to play two creatures and then they can also pressure our Sarkin. But if they play two creature, we probably just wipe the board. Or a second creature. Well, there's a white land. Wouldn't be surprised to see a siege rhino now. Nothing yet. Really? Okay. They didn't do anything. This is really peculiar. I'm not sure what's going on. Oath of Lilian is not a bad one either, but I think I'd rather than just play Sarkin, make a dragon. There's not too much that can go wrong here, I think. Make a dragon, and then I'm not sure why, why they kept their hand. What's going on? They haven't played discard, they haven't removed anything. Maybe it's all just creature removal? Tide Hollow Scholar. Yeah, they are gonna see a hand that's quite painful. I mean, what do you even take here? They took Shad of the Sky. All right. And then nothing. I think what I want to do is plus Sarkin. So all my planeswalkers are now dragons. Then play Deafening Clarion, give all my creatures lifelink as well, and kill everything of oh, theirs. Yeah. I mean, this is working out rather well. Get back our Shadow of the Sky, hit them for 12. So we'll also just kill them next turn. Uh, yeah. And then they're down to eight. And uh, I imagine they sh will be conceding soon. I really don't know what they could draw. Binding the old gods. All right, yeah, that, that sort of works. Kill my Sarkin, and then it takes me two turns to kill them with this dragon, so we get to play on. Maybe they also have an answer for my dragon. I'm still very curious as to what is in their hand, that they haven't played something like this earlier. Another land, that's not very good. Let's get in with the dragon, put them to four, so now they also need to answer my dragon next turn. If they do, then I don't have a lot of gas left, so maybe that, that, that claim of I could concede and conceding was a little bit premature, but it's just been a weird game where our opponent really hasn't done much. Oh wait, they also have blue in their mana base? Alright, interesting. Can you kill my dragon? There is the Siege Rhino. Alright, Siege Rhino also lets them live. We get to play Oath of Liliana to kill it at least, and then any Planeswalker that we play is gonna make a, uh, is gonna make a zombie. Make them sack their guy. And then I can grant it for, I think, just deploy to Gatewatch. But let's see. Yeah, I think I get deploy to Gatewatch. Maybe I should have like a Nickel Bolas in the sideboard. Could be fun. And then we play our Fey. Attack with the Dragon. So they're down to three. All of their creatures are getting Death Touch. Sure, sure. More lands. Now what? Vindicate my Dragon. Sure. Annoying because we can't kill them yet, but it's fine. Tide Hollow Skuller. So they get to take the deploy to Gatewatch. So that's okay. I think I'll just deafening clarion on the. I can just deafening clarion away the the scholar and then still play deploy. Yeah, I have enough mana for that. Dovin ban. Let's just deafening clarion and then hopefully this deploy is good. Only a Sarkin. Well, I say only a Sarkin, but Sarkin is fine because that's just gonna kill them. Make my Dovin a dragon and then attack them for five. So uh, with Deploy to Gatewatch, I have to say that we need to get a little bit lucky. To make that really good, I think you need to run more Planeswalkers, but there's not that many that are that are interesting to me, especially not ones that are also cheapest to play. All right, and they scooped it in. This was a nice warm-up match onto match two. Match two, we're on the play. Only one land though, so got them all. A little bit awkward in the mana department, but I will keep. Put away the Oath of Lily. And just start playing some tap lands. Hopefully we're against some sort of creature deck. Oh, Mountain. Stormkirk Noble. Well, just play our tap lands and then probably just Deafening Clarion. Ash Zealot. Yeah, definitely Deafening Clarion in this board. So we take some damage, but we get to clean up. Deal three damage. And then their next play we have under control with Dovin. And if we can fly, find an Interplanar Beacon, or maybe two, then we can start gaining some life. Wouldn't mind drawing a land so we can play Fires, Kenra, and a figure. Wow. Okay. Hmm, no land. I think I'm going to take a little bit of a gamble here. Play the Astrolabe looking for a land. Well, it's a land, but it's a tapped one, which is not ideal. One scary card out of this type of deck is 
price of progress. If they have that, and I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to die very quickly. Our mana base is not exactly heavy on basics. Another Kenra. So I kind of need another board wipe then. They can pump their figure. Yeah, so we're taking six down to nine. That's going pretty fast. So let's just play fire then. Cast Dovin. Minus on the figure. And yeah, we're still taking four. If next turn I can draw a land, I can play Sarkin and Oath of Lily. And that can stabilize at least the creatures. Uh, another Earthshaker. So then I'm taking six down to three. Jeez. Grim Lavamancer. So now I just need a board wipe realistically. Yeah, I'm down to three. That's not it. Yeah, we're just dead. That was a little bit too fast. Maybe I should have waited with the Deafening Clarion, just played Dovin and plussed on one of their creatures. Could have bought me myself a little bit more time there. Like last time, I think we'll just resubmit. Our deck should be able to beat this type of stuff from the main deck. And if it doesn't, then we, we have bigger issues. I think Mono Red is harder because they have Burn and Reach. But creature decks or aggro decks in general, I think we should be able to overpower. We get to play first this game. That's another issue. Next the game, we're on the draw. Mm, this hand seems bad. Mm, this seems fine. What do I put back though? I mean, I say this is fine, but maybe it really isn't. And we'll keep this and then just put back, I guess this mountain, because with this floodplain, all the others are going to come in untapped. I mean, I need five mana, but I don't want to start with four cards in hand. Mm, there's a noble and deploy the gatewatch. Perfect. E exactly what we need in this matchup. And by that, I mean, not exactly. I mean, off the sideboard, I think they're very likely to have Price of Progress, so might be a tough one to beat. So no haste creature, but maybe they have the Berserker, the 3-3. Three, three. Mm, no, Grim Lavamancer and nothing. Play another tap land. I really wish we would have drawn something by now. I guess not. We'll just have to make do with this. More lands. Attack for three. Yep. What now? Nothing. Okay, let's play our beacon. Now we'll have another beacon next turn and our... Our Planeswalker that we play is also going to gain us two life. That's not nothing. That's quite a bit, actually. Barbarian Ring. This Noble is going to be quite big. Hmm. Still nothing. I can play Shadow the Sky, but I think what I'll do is I'll just play Gideon and kill their Noble. I'm very worried that they have Price of Progress. They have not been doing anything. Yeah, there it is. Oh, they have double Price of Progress. Well, <laughs> like I said, can't beat that card. Let's just go on to match two. This is <laughs> this is over. If you're worried about price of progress, don't play this deck. That's what we've learned from this. Match three, hopefully no price of progress. I will keep this hand, even though it's not all that good. We have Ice Tunnel, we have Arkham's Astrolabe, hopefully Liana to stop an early creature. Oh, Cloud Post. Imagine Cloud Post could be a difficult matchup. Luckily, Lodestone Golem is no longer legal. Island, so Blue Post. Interesting. Let's just play our Astrolabe and another tap land. Another Cloud Post. Three mana. Power Stone Shard. I see. I see. Fay of Wishes. Do I want to play Oath of Liliana? I don't think so. We'll play Sulphur Falls. Next turn I can Fay of Wishes for Thought Distortion maybe? Feels like this could be a, a Counterspell heavy deck. Deafening Clarion. Not a very good one. Let's just Fay. If they counter this that's fine too. Yeah. And then I guess Thought Distortion is still going to be the card. I have no idea what they're playing. Could be anything. But the fact that they're blue makes me think that there's some non-creature spells in there. Or maybe this is like a Colossus deck. God Pharaoh statue. Oh man. Okay. It's gonna be it's gonna be rough. So everything costs a bunch more. Two more. Jeez. That is painful. They don't have much going on though. Forbidden Alchemy. Yeah, so this is just blue cloud post. Interesting. Usually people go for for green. Upheaval. Ah, I see. This is an upheaval deck. Opponent very quickly chose a card. What is this? Like Mere Battlesphere? Everflowing Chalice. Kick. Yeah. Okay. Oath of Liliana is not exactly a good one here. I guess we do play it. But this this Godfire statue is just kind of wrecking me here. Yeah. They sack a creature. That's fine. I'm just playing this so that when I do get to play a Planeswalker, it will make a, a zombie. Although zombie is not that good versus Mystifying Maze. Another Alchemy. Okay, now something is coming out that probably just spells the end of the game. Yeah, upheaval, I've seen enough. I'm not going to play against that. All right, all right, all right, all right. Got to make some changes. I want Juresses instead of Deathling Clarions. Um, anything else? Is there anything I would want to have in the main rather than the sideboard? I guess that's the thing. I don't really have that much wiggle room. Because then if I put it in the main, then I don't have access to the cards with Faye. So I might as well keep it this way. And then Oath of Chandra is pretty bad. Maybe it's better to just 
cut one off for like a deploy. Although the deploying, finding a deploy is quite nice. I'll just put Kefnet's last word in. Or actually, let's put in Oath of Teferi. Yeah, it's not one I really want to wish for, so I get to go first. A bunch of Jurasses, not too many lands. I guess I keep. We'll just see how this goes. I need to find some lands, but maybe we do, and then we do get to disrupt them a bunch. They have the Cloud Post. Dovin could be good if we can find more lands. And just take the Power Stone Shard, play the Flood Plane, and then next turn I'm going to take the, the Factor Fiction. We have another Cloud Post. Yeah, they really have quite some ramp over there. Jurassic again. Take the Factor Fiction. Another Cloud Post. Wow. I think I'm better off just playing Dovin. They cannot yet play Upheaval. So let's minus, draw a card. Find another Dovin. Not what we needed. Play Urza's Factory. Oh, they can start making dudes with that. Sort of annoying. And now what? I can Fae of Wishes. Let's just draw a card first. I think what I'll do here is just play Dovin. Another one. Keep that one and then just plus. I could also have played the Fae as a blocker. Yeah, they make a, a dude. That's fine. They attack my Dovin. Hmm. Find another Dovin. Now I do want to duress to take that upheaval. Forbidden Alchemy. If they upheaval next turn, sort of annoying. Yeah, let's just take the upheaval. They can Forbidden Alchemy. That's that's okay. Play a land. Play Dovin. Plus on this guy. Pass. And then next turn I can play Sarkin. They're gonna make another dude. Or they're gonna No, they're making a dude. Yep. They kill my they're going after the this tiny Dovin. Sure. Glimmer post, more mana. Hmm. A Johnny. Can't cast that. I think I'm just going to draw a card with this. Another land. Now I can play Sarkin and make a dragon. That doesn't seem too bad. And minus this on one of their assembly workers and just pass. I could play the Fey as an extra blocker. Maybe I should have, but I like having that available. Oh, fact or fiction. So it's God Vero's statue and like a dimmer signet for these other cards. The statue is annoying, but it's manageable with what I have on board, I think. And yeah, the fact that they drew three cloud posts is, is what's making this game hard. If they want to attack, they need to throw away one of their guys. Looks like they do. And yeah, they're going after my Sarkin. Makes sense. That's the way that they're going to die. So maybe I should have played the Fae just to block. Now they're going to play the statue. Yep, very annoying. They're also on 29. Kind of an issue also. And yeah, they make another guy. Sure. Find more lands. I guess I shouldn't have played that land before drawing a card. Another Sarka. Oh, that's that's kind of nice because that means that I can make another dragon and then every time their creatures attack, my dragons are kill gonna deal them damage. And that's just gonna be it's gonna be lethal to all of their tokens. So I guess I don't use this Dovin then. I just rely on my dragons to hold the fort. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All of their guys die now. Hopefully they didn't find another upheaval. I mean, I'm still not out of the woods yet. Hedron Archive. So they get to draw a bunch of cards. Looking for that upheaval. Yep, draw. Forbidden Alchemy. Another Hedron Archive. So, oh, Mystifying Maze. Hmm. Mystifying Maze is annoying against my dragon tokens. So what do I want to do here? I guess I just plus and then only attack with my dragons maybe? Or only attack with my planeswalkers, I mean. Because if they mystifying maze those, I'm kind of okay with it. If they take out one of the dragons, that's kind of worse. Because then I don't have that protection anymore from the from the assembly workers. Forbidden alchemy. Yeah, I mean, I, I have to imagine that it, I'm getting upheaved next turn. Right, taking a bit of damage. It's cost granted, but I'm not sure what I'm what I'm getting here. I could get casualties of war, but that's never going to happen. I guess I just get deploy to gate watch and hope that I get to live to cast that. Then uh, let's plus this and then that's it. Like I said, I'm fully imagining that I'm getting upheavaled or they're playing, gonna play upheaval and then the game's just gonna be over. They've had so many looks at it. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm just gonna scoop it out. There's no way I'm gonna beat that. They're gonna play a bunch of mana up, gonna play Godfire Statue. And that's game, just a little bit too slow to close. Not going very well so far, but let's see if we can uh, still salvage a 3-2 by winning the last two matches. Match 4, so far not been going too well. Highland Forest, alright, play this and our Astrolabe. I think we also didn't see a lot of fires yet, and that's really when the deck gets to start firing on all cylinders. Forest, Orcus Lumberjack, ooh, that is scary. Let's play our uh, Ice Tunnel, but they could play a 6-drop next turn. And there's quite some good 6-drops. Good is this some sort of Ponza deck? 
Abundance. That was not the card I was expecting. Player Beacon, and I'm just going to use this Deafening Clarion to get rid of the Orcish Lumberjack. That card is just a little bit too scary to leave alive. This is going to slow them down quite a bit, hopefully. Curious what they're going to name. They choose Non-Land. Form of the Dragon. Alright. This must be some Enduring Ideal deck. Then let's play Dovin. That should be pretty decent against the Enchantment deck. Oh wait, no. This doesn't stop enchantments, just artifacts, instants, and sorceries. Never mind, this is not going to do much then. Sylvan carried it, sure. Play another land, play another Dovin, gain a life, draw a card. Ooh, deploy the Gatewatch. Can I get a land next turn, please? They chose non land. Rose Thorn Acolyte. I'm officially confused as to what is going on right now. All right, granted. What are we wishing for? Maybe this is, yeah, I was gonna say, maybe this is Possibility Storm. I see, I see. Possibility Storm, huh? What am I gonna do about that? I guess I'm just gonna deploy the Gatewatch and hope to hit. Or what I can also do, yeah, I think I like that better. Oh no, wait, I was gonna say, maybe I can play Liliana and then make them discard and then next turn, make it so that I know I'm gonna hit Nicol Bolas, but they're gonna play Possibility Storm, and then they're gonna find whatever instant they have or sorcery with the Rose Thorn Acolyte. And that's probably. Oh, right, I see. And that's gonna be the Enduring Ideal. Now I get it. I think what I'm gonna do is just deploy the Gatewatch then. Hope that it hits a couple good ones. Oh, another Dovin. I guess I should have minus Dovin first. I'll get Sarkin and Dovin. Yeah, should have minus Dovin first. That's something to keep in mind for next time. Gain a life, draw a card. And then make a dragon. If this is enduring ideal, then it's gonna be interesting. I'm not sure how I'm gonna deal with some of the lock pieces that they have. I think I guess Dovin is doing work then. And because of Dovin, they're not gonna be able to play the enchantment and a spell in the same turn. This is kind of a wild, wild game. And it chose non-land still. I don't get that. Feels like you do want some lands. Yeah, possibility storm, sure. So now whatever we cast. Yeah, we, we basically don't know what we're getting. So mine is Dovin first, find the land. It doesn't really matter which Planeswalker I cast because I'm not gonna get that Planeswalker anyway. Cast Lily, gain some life, possibility storm into another Dovin. Mm, no, I, yeah, I guess I did wanna cast that, so it's just out of my deck. And then attack them for 16, so they're <clears throat> now on four. They're gonna hit Enduring Ideal now. And then what is that gonna find? I think Form of the Dragon is in their hand. Huh, this is a crazy, crazy game. We still have Nicol Bolas in our deck to, to kill their stuff. Yeah, sure. What enchantment are they gonna go get? Sandworm Convergence. Yeah, figured they would. So we cannot attack with our dragons anymore. And they make a worm. Let's just cast Gideon. Doesn't really matter. And there's Nicol Bolas. Right, that's the one we wanted. That should do it. I do like our opponent's deck. I'm not sure if it's like built optimally and I'm not sure if you can build a deck like that optimally, but it is cool. Let's kill the Sandworm Convergence and then let's kill our opponent. Yep. All right, got there. I want the Juresses. Don't really need Shadow Disguise. I think those are probably worse than uh, Deafening Clarions. Deafening Clarions can kill their setup creatures. Anything else? Don't think so. Let's just keep it as is. I will keep this hand. A little bit light on lands, but that's all right. Bird. Yep. Jace. Mm, not a perfect draw. We get to shoot their bird next turn. If they have an Orcish Lumberjack, I get to shoot that. Yeah, like I said, gonna shoot that. Play this. Shoot the Lumberjack. Slow them down at least a little bit. And what is this? Abundance? No. Okay, so they're getting their enchantment and it's gonna come out next turn. And I think I'd rather just play the Astrolabe instead of playing Dovin. And then next turn I can play Dovin and maybe hit Nicol Bolas again or another crazy planeswalker. Find the land, play the Sulphur Falls and then just pass. And it's gonna be interesting. So they can play their enchantment or is that too red? Yeah, it's too red so they can't play their enchantment yet. Then we just off of Liliana them and keep them off of red for a little while longer. Just playing the face straight up. Sure, that is fine by me. Although I say that, that does mean that this is not going to make them sacrifice their uh, their bird. So I could also play Dovin. No, oh, let's just play the Oath. They're going to sacrifice their Fey. Yep. Do they have a red land? No, just a forest. Ah, they do have red mana with the Seasoned Ritualist. Enchantment is coming out. Yep, there it is. And they have another one. No, they have a bird. I was going to say, they have another spell, like another Rose Thorn Acolyte. 
but they have a Sylvan Caradet. I see. Well, what do I want to do? I can play Jovin or Jurass first. I guess Jurass first might be better. I really don't know. Let's just see. Maybe we hit deploy the Gatewatch. No, we find another Jurass. Let's just do that then. Rule of law. Oh, that's a lock. So good thing we hit that. Now let's play Dovin and see what Planeswalker we get. Another Dovin. Sure. Mine is that one to draw a card. Find the land. Perfect. And we get a zombie and we deal them damage. <laughs> so our opponent can play another Rose Thorn Acolyte. Oh, they drew Season Ritual? That is insane. The finding Enduring Ideal. Do they have another rule of law in their deck to shut us out? Yeah, they do. Why didn't they get that last time? Oh, they had to to do something different because then otherwise they would have lost to the stuff that I had on the board. So I think I'm locked out now. So I mean, I can play something, but that's not going to pass through the possibility storm. And then I can't play a second spell. And Dovin is not going to get me there. So yeah, let's concede. Props to our opponent. They got there. Anything I could change? I don't think so. I really don't have too much to, to board in. Game three. Finally, of fires. I will keep this. A little bit scared of uh, an Orcus Lumberjack, but otherwise this hand looks somewhat promising. Play this land, pass, forest and a bird, duress. Let's just play the Astrolabe, draw a card, Dovin, play this, just a tap land, Sylvan Library, sure. Another bird. So if they have the the thing, they can do it next turn. So I do want to duress them. Only a Sandworm Convergence. Guess we discard that. Not really what I was hoping for. And next turn I get to go fires into Drawn from Dreams. And they kept a card. Mm, they're not doing anything. That's good for me. Play land. Play fires. Now, do I want to play Dovin? I'm worried that if they find their enchantment, they can immediately go off. And if I play Dovin, they can't. So maybe I just do that first. This makes it a little bit harder for them to just immediately go off. Because they need to pay extra on the first cast, but also on the second. And then next turn I'll draw from Dreams. Paying more life. Oh, they're just paying... Eight life. Wow. Sylvan Carded. I also wouldn't mind finding uh, the, the, the three damage spell. That would actually be quite good here. It's drawn from dreams. No. Don't find it. I can take Oath of Chandra or Oath of Liliana. Or I can take Ajani, but I might as well... No, I can't play Ajani right now. Might as well just take the Oath of Chandra that kills faster probably. Oh, I get to take two cards still, of course. I get to take the Oath of Liliana too. And cast this, kill a bird, play a land. Unfortunately, I can't play Deploy the Gatewatch. Maybe I should have just taken a land so I can guarantee one next turn. Captain Lannery Storm, sure. Yeah, they create a treasure. So more mana. They find another land. So what do I want to do now? I can Deploy the Gatewatch or I can Gideon. Gideon can then kill the bird and I can play Oath to kill another creature. I just want to keep them off mana to lock me out. And Gideon is also a way to win when they've put in Rule of Law. So I think I'm just going to cast Gideon. Maybe I'm misevaluating this game, but I think that's more important. Keep them off mana and have an assured way to win. This is also going to give me another zombie. So that's another way to win or at least pressure them. And then this cannot attack or can at least not deal damage. And then yeah, this is, this is starting to look okay. They can't just easily lock me out. The Sandworm Convergence is in the graveyard, but they might still have Form of the Dragon that they can find. We'll see. But if they find Form of the Dragon, they're not guaranteed to lock me out at least. Sylvan Carroted. Yep. And what is this? And that guy to make more mana. Yeah, they seem to be constrained on mana still. Or maybe they just don't, don't have it. Sarkin. Well, let's start by deploying the Gatewatch. <laughs> we missed? Wow. Oh my god, that's so bad. <laughs> oh man, we missed. I wasn't necessarily expecting that. Well, let's cast Sarkin. I guess it doesn't matter because Sarkin is just going to kill them anyway. Yeah, just plus, make two 4-4s. Four they can't block. And then send. Yeah, at least we won this match. A cool deck from our opponent. Also a little bit unrefined, I think, but... Cool concept, and it's a cool way to use that possibility storm and adventure card combo. But we were able to be victorious. On to the final match. Let's see if we can get that 3 2. Final match. Hand is sort of slow, but maybe not actually that slow. We just have two tap lands, but the other ones are untapped. Astrolabe, Shadow of the Sky. Yeah, no, this is a fine hand. I mean, our deck is just a little bit slow naturally. Ooh, Island. Fires. Haven't seen many fires yet. Could be good this game. Not sure how well our deck would do against a bunch of counter spells. 
another island. So it looks like we might be finding out. Play the astrolabe. But I want to counter this. I'm totally down if they counter this. No, didn't think so. Play the ice tunnel in and pass. I'm not unhappy just sitting here passing, but I can see that my opponent might also not be unhappy with this. They put something on top. Let's play another tap land and just pass again. Next turn, we just try and resolve the fires. Another temple. Let's play the beacon then. I'm gonna try for the fires. I imagine this is gonna get countered, but we'll see. Sometimes they just don't have it. That would be nice. Yeah, they do have it. Sure, it is what it is. Next turn, I'll just play Oaf of the Fairy, I think. Oh, they're gonna tap out. Dragon's Horde. Not exactly tapping out then. So this is the Dragon's deck. This actually won the first Penny Dreadful tournament this season. So as much as people might think it's a meme, it's quite good. And the biggest downside to me is that one of the things that they do is just play a ton of counter spells. They play counter spell, but also the one that if you reveal a dragon, you get to counter something. Now, this is not going to be all that great, but it's just going to blink the astrolabe, draw myself a card and be set up with double activations of any resolved planeswalkers. And if they counter this, I'm also fine with that. No, this resolves. Kind of expected that to be the case. Blink the astrolabe, draw a card. This could be a tough matchup. Shadow of the Sky, that's not really what we need good to be able to kill their dragons but at the same time they're just gonna draw a card then oh they're gonna tap out for niv mizzet that i kind of like because i don't really care about this niv mizzet they get to draw a card though and then i get to play a johnny and just take out their niv mizzet yeah looks like it they must have felt safe to do this but it actually wasn't safe they will gain a bunch of life but that's okay so exile their niv and then because of the oaf i get to do this <laughs> And I get to take three cards. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. I will have to discard. I guess I just discard an Oath of Chandra. That's really not that good here. But double a Johnny activations means that I can swords every single turn now without losing loyalty. Because the plus two and then a minus two. So they're gonna play some sort of dragon here. No. Yeah, a Johnny with Oath of the Fairies. Kind of nuts. Just a swords to plowshare machine. Thunderbreak region. Uh, sure. So then I plus the Ajani first, take a Sarkin and an Astrolabe, and then I'll minus on the Thunderbreak regions. I do get damaged, but that's okay. And what do I play next? Maybe just play Dovin? No, wait. What I can do is I can play small Dovin first, and then if they want to counter this, they can. If they don't, then they won't have the mana to pay the tax. So then big Dovin is definitely going to resolve. And I'm not going to start drawing more cards with this because I, I'm kind of good on card draw not right now. I'm just going to start plussing. I'm working towards this ultimate. Man, Oath of Tef Teferi is real sweet. Maybe I should be playing more of these. I mean, obviously this is just one game. Yeah, so let's plus. Let's plus again. And I'm pretty close to ultimate this way. Like next turn I just plus twice more and then ultimate. A Johnny got their creatures under control. What is this now? Another niv Mizzet, Sure. They draw another card. Yeah, I think our opponent kind of made a mistake. Or maybe they just didn't have a counter spell and that's why they ran it out. That's also a very real possibility. I mean, if you don't have the counter, you might as well just run it out and hope for the best. We just happen to have the Johnny to punish them. They pass the turn. Let's play our land. And then can also just shatter the sky. They're going to draw a card then. Let's just reveal the top cards first. Nothing to put in my hand. That's okay. Yeah, let's just exile. Not bother playing the Shadow of the Sky. Plus, plus again. Play Arkham's Astrolabe. Fae of Wishes. Fae is not bad either. I think I'll still play Sarkin. Also Fae next turn. I mean, I think this game is very close to over. The Dovin Ultimate is just going to do in my opponent, I think. Draw more cards. And then, yep, make a dragon. Just turn all my Planeswalkers into dragons too. Attack him. That's also just going to kill him fairly quickly. If they have a bounce spell, that could be a little bit annoying, but at the same time, who cares? You have so much stuff going on. Another niv Mizzet? Or what is this? Oh, Burst Lightning with Kicker. Killing my Ajani? Okay. So my removal machine is gone. I'm still not too worried. This Dovin Emblem is also going to be quite good. Let's just play a land. Let's plus Sarkin first, and then go attacking. And I'm going to make the Dovin Emblem. Our opponent's deck is quite mana hungry. So Dovin... Oh, it's staying alive right now? I guess it's... Oh, they scoop. I guess it's gonna die at the end of turn anyway when it's no longer a creature. But yeah, that turn where we got to resolve on a Johnny was just great, especially with the Oath of Teferi out there. 
get to make some changes. I don't think I want deafening clarions. I don't really think there's dragons with three toughness. Then I want some duresses. Oath of Chandra is pretty bad. So let's put in Kefnet's last word. And maybe just another Oath of Teferi. I might be biased because of how it performed that game, but yeah, let's just run this then. This hand is unplayable. Yeah, this is unplayable. Got them all. No way to cast any of our spells. Well, this hand is uh, quite something also. I guess I do keep, but don't really have much going on. But I don't like mulling to five with a deck like this. I need my land drops and I, this is going to be a grindy game. So let's put back a Sulphur Falls and then keep this and just hope that the top of our deck is, is kind to us. Oh, they did mulligan to five. Then I'm still happy that I didn't mulligan further. Dovin is not a bad one. It's not insane either, but it's, it is serviceable. Let's just play Sulphur Falls. Oh, they're missing land drops. Let's play this then. I'm not going to play my Dovin into their open mana. If they're missing land drops, I don't want to just give them a chance to counter my Dovin. I'd rather make them decide between tapping out or uh, or holding up a counter. They did find another land, so good for them. Still don't think I want to play Dovin. Maybe I should though. Nah, I won't. If they tap out for like a Dragon's Horde or something, then I'll... I'll maybe play Dovin. If they play a dragon, I can just Oath of Liliana it. Yeah, there's the Dragon's Horde. I guess playing Dovin would have also prevented that from happening. This can also shut down a dragon. It's going to make all of their spells a little bit more clunky. What is this now? Another Dragon's Horde? Yeah. All right. Mm, maybe if I played Dovin and if it would have resolved, it would have stopped them completely. But this is not terrible for me either. Let's play this beacon. I just want to see them tap out to play a dragon next turn and then I get to play over Liliana. Kill the dragon. Maybe ideally I'd have a second play that's a little bit less reactive. You are going to play something. Hmm. Thunderbreak Regent. Oath of Liliana is a great answer to that. The Dragon's Horde is going to make them draw a bunch of cards which is nice. Ooh, Dovin. That is quite good actually. Yeah. We get to play Oath. They all have to sack a creature and they can't counter anything right now. And this is a clean answer to their Thunderbreak Regents. And then play this Dovin, gain some life. And we'll be drawing cards and gaining more life. And then if they ever tap out or low enough, then I can just resolve Nicol Bolas. That should also be very good. Arkham's Astrolabe. Not a great one to draw, but I'll take it. Come on, just play niv -Mizzet. You know you want to. I mean, you have six mana now. If they play niv -Mizzet and we get to steal it, that would be a big game. If they don't do anything, I'm not going to run out my Nicol Bolas into open mana. No reason to do so. And it looks like they're casting something. Four mana so far. Oh, they deal five damage to my Dovin. I see. This does mean that they now have counterspell mana up, so I'm fully expecting them to have counterspell. Play Arkham's Astrolabe. Draw myself a card. Minus deploy the Gatewatch. Don't want to play that. What I think I want to do is just play Granted. And then if they don't counter that, then next turn I can play Thought Distortion and strip their hand of any counter spell they might have. Or they counter this, that's fine too. They let this resolve, get Thought Distortion, and then slam in with the zombie. Yeah, they must have been thinking we just counter whatever they tutored for. But Thought Distortion is uncounterable. I'm not sure why they made it uncounterable. That's just so, so absurd for what that card does. It's so perfect to just entirely wreck and control deck. So now they're incentivized to just tap out next turn. But if they tap out for a big dragon, I'll still just play Nicol Bolas and, and steal the dragon. If it's like a, a, a niv -Mizzet. if it's just a Thunderbreak Regent, I think I just let it happen. Kind of curious why they chose to draw a card there. Maybe it's better just to just not draw that card and just keep it for, for when you get Thought Distortioned. Not sure. Yeah, they're tapping out for something. Feels like this is maybe niv -Mizzet. Burst Lightning with Kicker. Why are they kicking this though? Unkicked would have been enough. It was at one loyalty, so I'm not sure what was going on there. Let's play the beacon. I'm just going to Thought Distortion them. Take all of their counter spells. Let's see how many they have. Would be kind of funny if they just don't have any. And they've been playing around it for no real reason. Hmm. Just one counter spell, two dragons, and a Chandra. Okay. Well, good to know. Let's play the Fae then and slam with the zombie. I really thought they would have had more counter spells, but I guess not. Still, they had the one and that's already enough. They played that land. These are gone. So they're going to play Thunderbreak. It would be very annoying if they just drew another counter spell off of this. Imagine they're going to play Thunderbreak and then have the Dragon Sword to draw a card. No, this is looking like Glory Bringer because they 
might want to kill my fave wishes before I get it back to my hand and make another wish. Yep, glory bringer. Now I gotta make a choice. Do I want to play Nicol Bolas or do I want to deploy to get watch? Start by playing a land. If I play Nicol Bolas, yeah, if I play Nicol Bolas, I'd probably steal what? The glory bringer? If I deploy the gate watch, I have a chance of missing. I think I'm just gonna cast Nicol Bolas. If they drew exactly a counter spell, then that is gonna be very annoying, but they're just very good magic players then. Let's see it. Oh, stubborn denial? Oh man, really? Wow. <sighs> That's so brutal. <laughs> oh boy. Wow. And they even get to draw their card from Dragonheart. I might lose now. Wow, that is insane. Stubborn Denial. So brutal. Their very lost draw was a counter spell. They're gonna draw a card with the Dragon's Horde, then they're gonna play Thunderbreak Regions, and they're gonna keep drawing more cards. Yep, 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 yep. Really up against it now. We'll need this to play. Oh, they didn't play their Dragon? So they have more counters maybe? Come on. I mean, I guess a lot of their deck is counter spells. I gotta, gotta just run out my stuff now. Kind of insane if they find another counter spell here. Ah, uh, they did. Come on. <sighs> yay, yay, yay. That's not good. We were looking so good this game. Everything was going quite well, and then this happened. Insane. Honestly, insane. Just drawing running counter spells. I, at this point, it's not insane if they draw counter spells because they dra have the dragon's horde. But yeah. They just had one window where they could draw that kind of spell, and they did. Not sure what I can top deck. I think it starts with a, a Shadow at the Sky to kill all of their stuff. Yeah, Glorybringer getting in. A Johnny. I mean, I'm gonna run it out there. The only question is, what do I do with a Johnny? I think I'm far enough behind that just minusing to, to kill one of their dragons is not actually that good. I mean, I could kill the Glorybringer, and then they just kill my Johnny next turn. Maybe what I do is just plus, hope to find maybe an Oath of the Fairy and then do more things. Yeah, I think I, I gotta be a little bit more greedy. What is this? I have like a burst lightning or something? Soul Seer. Okay, so Johnny goes to one. What does he find? Arkham's Astrolabe and a Sarkin. Those are not the worst. Just play Sarkin. Maybe I should have played the Astrolabe first. Probably should have. If I find like Shadow this guy, I want to do that rather than play Sarkin. Yeah, that was bad. And there's Astrolabe. No, found another Astrolabe. Make a dragon. I can at least protect some of my planeswalkers. I mean, we're not out of it yet. We also get another zombie. What a game. And I think the glory bring our comp exert to kill our dragon. Looks like they might have burst lightning for my dragon though. Oh, Niv Mizzet. That's a good one. What can we draw? I think we can draw Kefnet's Lost Word. It will be a good one to draw. I mean, I imagine they have to kill my Ajani with Niv Mizzet, right? Yeah, this can deal with one damage to any target. And this is exerting to kill what? Just reading Niv Mizzet there. This is gonna deal two damage or one damage. Kill my zombie. This is going at Sarkin. I mean, Sarkin is. I could block here so Sarkin lives, or I can block there. Hmm. Interesting. Having my Sarkin live is not all that good, but they're just gonna activate Niv to shoot a Johnny. At least let's make them activate it. Make them spend the mana. I draw a card. Oh wow. They let me use a Johnny. That is a mistake. They should have just activated Niv to shoot one damage. We find Liliana. Sure. Let's play Arkham's Astrolabe. Really looking for a board wipe here. Oath of Teferi. Oh man. We might really get to punish them for not killing a Johnny there. So play the Oath of Teferi. I'm gonna blink my Oath of Liliana, I guess. Yeah. And then I can use a Johnny to kill Niv Mizzet. Oh, they're gonna counter this. Sure. And then I'll just play Liliana. I'm just gonna find Shadow this guy, I think. Now they will get to kill both my planeswalkers. At some point, I'm also just gonna run out of stuff to do. This is a tough matchup. They even have Stubborn Denial, Silim Scorn, and Counter Spell. So once I'm behind, it's gonna be very hard to catch back up. I think I gotta just search for something. And maybe it's better to find Fave Wishes. And then Faye can find me what out of sideboard. Can still find me a shadow this guy, but I have a Faye left over. Or I can set up Faye Fires Upheaval. Yeah, so let's get Faye and then just pass. I'm gonna get another zombie. That's not really all that relevant. And they also have Niv Mizzet that they can just activate a bunch and draw some cards with. This has been a wild game, gotta say. Our opponent only got six minutes left on the clock, seven. So they do need to hurry up a little bit. Scrambling Claws, why is that there? Mm, don't think that's a great card 
against me. They might not know what's in our deck, so fair enough. So they send Niv at Lily and Thunder Break at Ajani. So both my Planeswalkers are gonna die, which is unfortunate, of course. Exile, deploy, doesn't really matter. Niv Mizzet, pinging me, drawing cards. Yeah, let's cast Fae of Wishes. Go look for something out of the board. Yeah, this is just getting counterspelled. That was the, the downside, but that is always gonna be a downside. Do I even want fires here? Might as well. Are oh, they gonna counterspell this? I'm super happy with this. Stubborn Denial. Oh man, they have so many counterspells. This is the attack for four. We are quite high in life total, and they still only have five minutes left, and they, they need to win a third game still. And what is this? Glory Bringer, sure. If I can find a Shadow of the Sky without them having a counterspell, maybe. But they're drawing two cards again from these Dragon Hordes. Those things have done work. Yeah, take out my fires, that's fine. And if Mizzet pings me, they have four cards in hand, three mana available. Sending him to squad. So next turn I'm dead. And I get to draw even another card. And we draw a land. And I think that means we're dead. Yeah, let's attack. They will just have to make the attack and that's it. All right, they have four minutes to kill me in game three. See if they can do it. This is a tough matchup. And everything started to look so good and then everything took a turn for the worse. I don't really want to make any changes. I think I just resubmit. Yeah, running... Back-to-back -back counter spells totally ruined me there, especially off the thought distortion. So this seems like a nightmare matchup, to be honest. We're just a deck that wants to play two spells a turn. Resolving the fires could be good. If we can do that, then we can double spell from, from there on if we draw enough cards. And then we might be able to just overpower them. Yes, we'd like to play first. This hand seems fine. Astrolabes, Duress, that's, that's totally fine by me. Play the Ice Tunnel and pass. Play Astrolabe, another Astrolabe. I think I'll just run out another Astrolabe. Then next turn I'll, I'll go Duress. Maybe I can take a Dragon's Horde, or I can maybe for, play a Dovin's Veto if they play another like a Tap Land. No, they don't. Well, let's just start by Duressing them. Kind of want to see what's up over there. No, even this is getting countered. Yep, just straight up counter spell. Another Astrolabe. We'll have boom booms every single turn after this. What is this? Do they have the Dragon's Horde? No, they're afraid to cast it. Play this beacon and now I will just run out the Dovin. I'm gonna run out spells every single turn after this that they kind of have to counter. And Dovin makes all of the other plays that they have a lot more awkward. Okay, that resolves. I'm happy. So Kefnet's Lost Word. Not a bad one either. I think what I'll do here is rather than playing Liliana, I'll just play Oath of Teferi. I'm happy if that's on the board. Yep. And otherwise I just draw another card. I'm happy with that too. If they ever tap out, we get to punish them with a Planeswalker. And because they only have three minutes, they have to play a little bit faster than they might otherwise play. They can't just cautiously sit back because they'll never be able to kill me in time. Yeah, and they scoop. I guess they just realized that they're never going to be able to finish the match. Kind of disappointing to win that way, but our opponent just took all the time in the world in some of those games. Made some mistakes where they could have killed us sooner. 3-2 uh, with this deck. I think that was a little bit above average, but let's look at the deck again and look at some proposed changes. So this was the deck. Overall, it was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun just playing Planeswalkers. The Planeswalkers in the format, there are a lot better ones than there ever were before, but they're still not the best. It felt like I was struggling to close games a lot of the time where I would be doing a lot of powerful stuff, but not actually killing my opponent. Like Dovin Ban is a fine Planeswalker. It just draws a bunch of cards and that's it. It's not really building towards anything when you're minusing and if you then start plusing, it can take a while. One thing I really liked was Oath of the Fairy. Yeah, that, that one game where we had Oath of the Fairy going, that was that was quite good. And maybe with the other Oaths and the Art Astrolabes, that's just a reasonable card to have more of. Also the synergy with Fires. Didn't see Fire as much. That's okay. We saw that the deck can function without two. Maybe there's uh, a way where you can play more Ajani's. That felt quite good. Just revealing the top three cards. And then, yeah, this draws you cards while plussing and building towards something. And then... I guess Liliana is really not that impressive. Oath of Liliana I thought would be better also. And then you can maybe do without black, although I wouldn't want to miss out on Nicol Bolas, but between Fires, Astrolabe, and the Beacons, I think you could splash Nicol Bolas. And that said, I think I'd also put another Nicol Bolas in the sideboard, just because what would happen now is we were looking to close a game, and then the only thing that we would have in the sideboard once we find Fae of Wishes is 
a deploy to gatewatch to try and end the game. But deploy can miss, like we saw, or it can just get you like a 3 mana Dovin or a 4 mana Dovin, and those don't actually close out the game. So having either a Nicol Bolas or, or maybe a Sarkin or, or some other way to close the game in the sideboard could be good. I think upheaval was a little bit too cute, but yeah, it, it's, it is cute and it is fun. We just I think it takes too much time to get going. So that is a card you could potentially cut for another Nicol Bolas in the sideboard. I'll be back with more Penny Dreadful videos. Let me know if you like this deck or not, and uh, I hope to see you for the next one.